Good morning, Devils. I'm Emily Whiteman. And I'm Hunter Cap, and this week we'll be covering Spear Week, SATs, and Homecoming. All that and more today, Friday, September 29th. starts next week. On Monday, we have PJ Day. Tuesday, Barbie vs. Ken Day. Wednesday is Tacky Taurus Day. Thursday is Blackout. And Friday is Barbecue Dad vs. Soccer Mom. Help your class earn spirit points every day by showing your support and dressing up. Our homecoming will be on October 7th, 7 to 10 at the Toy Town Elementary School. Our homecoming game is Thursday. The theme is Blackout. Make sure to pop out and show some support. They will be tailgating for the game. Get involved in your class and help out. Now let's over to throw it over to our worldwide updates with Mark and Colin. Welcome back to Blue Level Weekly's worldwide updates, bringing you the latest and greatest from around the globe. The astronaut analysis spacecraft Osiris Apex, named after the Egyptian god of fertility in the afterlife, has come back after delivering NASA's first asteroid sample collected from space, following a seven-year journey and prepares for its next voyage at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. In honor of such a well-named spacecraft, I would like to name something after myself. This star, right here, shall henceforth be known as the Colin Rowe Star. Thank you, it's pretty, I know. An interesting series of events unfolded during the second 2024 Republican presidential primary this week. Following the usual routine of cinema-worthy chaos in politics, a shining star among the phrases in the debate spoken by former Governor Nikki Haley, where she states, Honestly, every time I hear you, I feel a little bit dumber for what you say. Truly, words to live by. A new resolution has been passed by the Senate requiring the members to wear more formal wear after a number of members began to make waves in baggy uh, casual wear during working hours. Honestly, I see this as a welcome change, because if I wanted to see a bunch of goofballs in hoodies and sweatpants talk like they run the place, I'd just look down the hallways of Murdoch High School. After an executive order by Massachusetts Governor Maura Healy, Mass becomes the first state to ban state agencies from purchasing single-use plastic bottles. Along with this, she has proposed conservation goals for the coming decades. They may only be baby steps in the right direction, but baby steps are still progress. That concludes this week's edition of Worldwide Update. Back, Back to, to you, you in the, the studio. studio. Thank you guys. Picture day will be next Tuesday. Everyone has to have their pictures taken for security purposes, even if you don't buy your pictures. School SATs and PSATs are coming up. For seniors, SATs are October 11th, and the PSATs are October 25th, so make sure you bring your Chromebook all charged up for when you come in. On October 7th, the town of Winterden is having their annual Fall Fest 9 to 4. It will be taking place on Central Street. Now let's throw it over to our sports segment with Jeff, Maya, and Stephen. Welcome back to your weekly updates of Blue Devil Sports. Murdoch boys and girls lost against Tahanto. Both teams fell to 2-3 and three on the season. On the boys' side, Gavin Zabik finished second, Seamus Solomon finished third, and Wyden McKay finished fourth. The girls, Avery Murphy, lowered the girls' course record by a minute and 20 seconds to 19 minutes and 27 seconds for the three-mile course. She finished first, and Rachel LeBlanc finished sixth. Next week is on October 4th at Narragansett. The field hockey team won 6-0 on Monday. Emma Blake scored four times. The football game lost their game on Friday, 26-6 against Littleton. They play tonight at home versus Quabbin. The theme is red, white, and blue. Back to you in the, in the studio. studio. Thanks for that, guys. Here's our question of the week with Emma. Question of the week. What was your favorite thing you did this summer? My favorite thing that I did this summer was going to Salisbury Beach and spending time with my family. Um, probably going to the beach and sleeping. I had my quinceañera. I actually got a chance to work in a food truck. I got to travel first class on an airplane. It was awesome. Probably, probably basketball, you know, putting in that work 24-7. I went on a cruise. Having dinner under the Acropolis in Athens with my daughter and my mom at like one in the morning. It was amazing. Um, actually, I homemade waffles and made them, quite literally. 
I made homemade pancakes. I made homemade waffles. <laughs> went to a bonfire. I went to Utah and moved my brother in. Shout out Mac. Uh, I coded and coded and all I did was code. Um, I regret it. Um, seeing Pink in concert. I drove to Puerto Rico with my boy Rodney. 50 Cent concert. I can't remember. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, Emma. Remember that you need a hall pass to leave class and you can't leave the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes of class. There will be an informational musical meeting on Monday, October 2nd at 3 p.m. Finally, let's pass it to our weatherman, Alex LeBlanc. Thanks, guys. I'm your host and the weatherman, Alex LeBlanc. Let's get right into the weather forecast. For today, there'll be a chance of rain throughout the day, but if none, it'll be just cloudy. It tends to be a highest of 63 and the lowest of 49. For tomorrow, there'll be a chance of rain mainly before 9 a.m. tends to be a highest of 65 and dropping the low 50s. For Sunday, it will be sunny throughout the day, with it being the low 70s and dropping to the mid 50s. For beginning of next week, it will be mostly sunny for both Monday and Tuesday. It will be in the mid 70s during the day and dropping in the low 50s during the night. That is all. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Alex LeBlanc. And that will do it for this week's episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure to look for our new videos every Friday at Murdoch HS. See you next week, Murdoch. Have a good and safe weekend.